I'm liking Seth Rogen a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. What's up guys, this is Film Talk with Joey and today I'm gonna do a movie review on Neighbors 2. I saw the first one and it was pretty funny so I was excited to watch the second one, I was stoked. And the log line goes, when their next door neighbor turned out to be sorority and worse than the fraternity previously, living there, Mac and Kelly team with their former enemy, Teddy, to bring the girls down. So the director is Nicholas Stoller, writers Andrew J. Cohen, Brendan O'Brien, and a few more guys. The main cast are Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, Zac Efron, uh, Chloe Grace Moretz, which is the little girl, Ike Barinholtz, which is Jimmy, Kiersey Clemens, Dave Franco, Gerard Carmichael, Christopher Mintz, Vinnie Fieldston, Clara, and even Selena Gomez is there and Hannibal Buress. First of all, Seth Rogen, I've always been iffy with movies when it comes to Seth Rogen. It's always like a hit or miss when it comes to me and humor, in my opinion. I thought Seth Rogen did a great job and I'm pretty sure he improvised in most of the stuff because most of the jokes were really funny. I chuckled a couple times. Zac Efron, I think he's a good, um, he makes a good douchebag and um, his acting is really good obviously because he's been acting since he was a child. Rose Byrne is really funny. Chloe is like the young girl from uh, the sorority and um, Ike is Jimmy. He's the one that plays SNL or Matt TV, you're not sure, but this guy is so funny. Dave Franco was the gay guy in the movie and I was pretty surprised that he would play a role like that, but whatever. I didn't really think that it would end up like that. Um, and then Selena Gomez pops out, Hannibal comes out, the comedian, and he's Officer Watkins. Uh, let's start off with the plot. The plot was really funny. Basically, Teddy is the enemy of the girls next door because he gets kicked out and so he plans his revenge to, you know, get these girls kicked out because he needed a place to stay anyway. So Seth Rogen was like, all right, cool, you, you can stay here, you know, unless you get these girls out because they were trying to sell um, their house and they had 30 days of escrow, which means that you know, they have 30 days to not buy a house. So that was the whole plot of the story. So what happens is these girls, they can't pay rent. So they sell whatever they need to sell. I don't want to mess up the movie. Just the, the obstacles to get shit done and get things accomplished is like the funniest thing. So there's a part where uh, Jimmy, Seth Rogen's friend, uh, gets dressed as a clown and he makes the funniest sound as a clown. It's so funny Watching Seth Rogen run and he, he like drew a, a freaking eight pack on his stomach is the funniest thing ever And I think Seth Rogen makes the funniest jokes. It was really funny. Oh uh, when it came to the acting I think everyone did a great job in general I think the worst actor was this little girl who was in the sorority because it's I don't know I guess she was supposed to act a certain age but I, it, it it was pretty annoying to hear her you know speak like a little f freshman or whatever but I guess that was her role but it just it didn't look like she was great at acting in my opinion no offense but that's just me um, I think roles with Seth Rogen he's really himself and you never see him portraying himself as a different person depending you know because I guess he is who he is. Seth Rogen is always the same personality in most of his movies unless he was dictated and told, you know, not to, to have a different character. But that's what I like about Seth Rogen, that he's always himself. Same with Dave Franco. He's a great actor. I actually like him better than James Franco. I think James Franco is a little weird. I don't know. He just seems like he's just high in every movie set. And to me, that doesn't look professional. But hey, it is what it is. The music that went with the movie was pretty funny because it was like the most random music every time they were trying to accomplish something or you saw them running towards somewhere. And it was just funny. Every obstacle 
was legit to get to the conclusion of the plot. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the jokes were legit, like clever. And that's what I love about these movies. It takes a lot to make me laugh, but Seth Rogen and this and his wife in the movie, they're really funny together and they actually they actually bond together well as a couple in the movie. So that's what I think. And then you see Selena Gomez in it, which is random as hell. And I don't know why she was really in the movie. I didn't I, I think if she wasn't in the movie, it wouldn't make an effect at all. I don't know why they actually gave her a part. That is just weird. I guess they wanted a bunch of young, you know, her friends to watch the movie as well. I guess so. I don't know. It's like putting Justin Bieber in that movie. Like, why are you there? But other than that, great movie. From a five star, I give it a five star because it's really good. It's worth the money. Made me laugh. That's the most important thing in this movie. Great ending as well. Really enjoyed it and uh, go watch it. I really recommend it. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, leave a comment if you saw it. Did you like it? Did you not? Are you going to watch it? Have a great day and uh, on to the next movie. Bye, guys. It's a revolution.